This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Why does this make any sense? Why does this make any sense? Why? Uh, oh. Kurt, is everything okay? Yes, everything, everything's peachy. Can't you tell by my massive wall here? I don't think I even want to ask, but what's wrong? Oh, Vivi, oh, sweet, innocent Vivi. See, this, this is supposed to be a fun video. The like, fun little video that started with a small, innocent question that middle school girls ask each other at lunch. Why do you have a picture of middle school girls? And it's turned into some, like, early Plato, Aristotle, uh, Dash of Aquinas type conjecture, and I, I, I'm not built for that. Okay, just slow down. I made a video about anime titties literally, like, last week. Kurt, maybe you just... Now y'all want me to talk about fate and, and the soul, and I'm like... I'm Kurt! Okay, just start from the beginning. How did we get here? Okay, okay, so it all started about a week ago when I found myself on a call with a lady friend. Apparently there's this guy that she's into right now, but they have a lot of things against him, like space, his job, her parents don't really like him, there's like a lot of factors. But she thinks it can still work because she feels a genuine deep connection with this person. Deep to her soul. You see where we're about to go? So she, she thinks this is his soulmate, it's her soulmate. And she asked me, if that makes sense and if it's practical. You see, what a lot of my friends think, that just because I talk about relationships on the internet a lot, means I have a lot of knowledge about them and good ideas. Very wrong, very wrong. You've not read any of the titles. <laughs> so what were my thoughts? I don't, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> that question never seemed like important enough for me to care about it or to like express any energy toward it. Like honestly, that always felt like a question reserved for Disney Channel specials. So it was never crossed my mind. I've not given it any serious thought. But I'm a good friend. I want to make her feel like I know and care about her issues. So I'll lie. I'll tell her I think about an answer for her, like with some real deep thought, which in Kurt Ritchie terms really just means I'll ask. 10,000 people on twitter.com instead of doing it myself. So I tweet out the question uh, as a poll. Do you believe in soulmates, yes or no? So I give it some time to collect thoughts, you know? And sure, that's kind of cheating, but I wouldn't really be a real YouTuber if I didn't use my followers for clout at least once, so. And about a day later, I come back to the poll, pretty interested to see what I'm gonna tell this girl and to see what the whole big consensus is gonna be because obviously there's gotta be one, right? Everyone's gonna agree on one idea. Oh no, it's a split decision right down the middle how i already deal with a lot of decisive topics on this channel okay but never would i thought it'd get so decisive that wait how many Twenty-one thousand forty-four people can't decide okay so now i'm interested and confused what is it about this whole soulmates question that's got everyone so divided i gotta know so now i really actually gotta ask myself do I believe in soulmates? So what do you do when you don't know the answer to a question? You ask your mom. Hello? Hey, mom. Hey, what's up? I wanted to ask you a question. Do you believe in soulmates? I do believe in soulmates. So explain why. It's just someone that you are connected to, someone that... You know, you can talk to very easily. I mean, it's just someone that you connect with that, I don't know, it's nothing that you can do. It's just that you have a connection with them. My conversation with mom led kind of to where I thought it would. She believed in soulmates. So I was like, all right, that's one for the yes column. Cool. But something I note that she mentioned, I kind of just brushed off, was how she described soulmates. I mean, it really wasn't the most spot on definition. I mean, that wasn't really the question we were talking about here. So I kind of just brushed it aside. So that's one opinion I actually care about for the yes column. So of course I'd go for a second opinion. Uh, the only other woman in my life that has to be there, uh, my sister. Yeah, I guess. That's, you don't sound too confident about why. Uh... This means that you're meant to be together. It doesn't mean that everything's perfect and stuff. Like, people always think that it's just meant to be together. And she said yes, too. But it's a little different than my mom's answer. And maybe you notice this, too. They had inherently different ways of seeing what a soulmate was, which was odd. Like, like if I ask someone why they like apples, and one's like because of how soft it is, and the other one's like of how hard it is, I'm like a little confused about how that apple works, right? So we took a step forward and maybe like two steps back, but it's cool, it's cool, because I have the original source, which I probably should have went to in the first place. And that 
was a bad idea. So remember just how a second ago, my mom and my sister's answers were the same, but their definitions for soulmate were different? Well, yeah, that tracked across 2,144 other people. See, not only were the answers to the question split, but the question, the question was split. What everyone thought a soulmate was, was different from everyone else. So no wonder the answers are like this. Everyone has a completely different idea of what a soulmate is. And bro, going through these, they're legit is nothing. Nothing that made ancillary sim. Not even being like a liking them part. That's the one thing you would think a soulmate would need. It's like you need to like them, but no, no, but apparently not for some people. Some people thought fate had to deal with this, some not. Some thought it was predestined. Some thought you create a soulmate. There's perfect matches, not perfect matches. There's one, there's multiple, even better. They're not even relationships. Some aren't even relationships. Some are just like friends. Fr friends? I went through every responses over 150 plus responses and got all of the same not the same information I, I deserve some credit but i had an epiphany or maybe it was a fever dream i'm not sure at this point it feels like i'm on xanax but i haven't done anything but read people's tweets for two days i really think i've been asking the wrong question the whole time because everyone has a different idea of a soulmate instead the question should be what is a soulmate do we have to definitively define what a soulmate is and this is where i am now and why i'm going crazy so let's go through this all right the definition of a soulmate according to google is a person ideally suited to another person as a close friend or romantic partner now uh, i mean this answers some of the questions but it's just vague enough to really still be up for interpretation like what's ideally suited like is that like a perfect fit a kind of not perfect fit it's like i think they're perfect but like they take their shoes off on airplanes like is that is that the line what is what does it mean so i dug even more and really use my college skills on this one and use the new oxford american definition oof we're getting we're getting serious which kind of led to the same thing it's just a person ideally suited to another as a close friend or romantic partner Y'all suck. Again, we answered some of the questions, but it involved none of the nuances of these 80 different answers. So I got to take this into my own hands and make my own definition of a soulmate that encompasses all these things, uh, a definitive soulmate, if you will, the Kurt Ritchie off-white soulmate. And let's see what that's defined as. In my opinion, if we're going to do it, we have to use the more or less pop culture definition. I mean, if we're going to talk about the things that teenage girls talk about during sleepovers, we might as well go full in. Use the whole Disney movie concept, because that's always kind of the way I thought of it too. And that's a set, predetermined single person in your life that's your perfect match, who you're destined to meet and be with. So do I believe in this? I mean, it, we're stepping into some territory that I'm not built for, okay? I make videos on the internet. I don't have a psych degree. And even then, I don't think people with a psych degree can really justify this. Like, so if you believe in fate, go for it. I don't, but I'm not gonna try and step too much into that territory because I don't want to ruin my comment section. So overlapping that, the, not really. And, and simply off this basis is that you have a compatibility percentage with whoever, right? Like with some people, it's 80. Some people, it's 40. And that person who is that 100% is a soulmate. But... Yo, it's a big place. There's 7 billion people on the planet. Granted, some are kids and some are like dying in like 20 seconds after I say the sentence. But you probably have high compatibility with more than one person. Like, you know the statistic where there's one person that looks exactly like you? And there's a lot of stuff that goes with genetics. So the fact that me and you can get along over anime is... I think those chances are high too. And because of that, I think it kind of takes the whole magic out of the word soulmates knowing that there's multiple people. A soulmate is the one true person, right? Even if it's just a relationship or a friendship, it's one. Maybe compatibility mates makes more sense, but that sounds really lame. But do I believe in soulmates? Nah, not really. I do think there are multiple people out there that you have high compatibility with. I don't know. I could be wrong. You know that saying that you don't know something exists until you've seen it. Well, that could be the case. I don't know. Some girl could pop into my life and then we'll have to make a referendum to this whole video. But I guess we'll see where we're at. But you know something that won't put you through existential turmoil, making you feel more lonely? Skillshare. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know what y'all learning. Uh, may maybe it will, who knows? Skillshare is an online learning community for creators that has over 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. By making a significantly easier decision than we did today and getting a premium membership, it gives you access to a ton of less perplexing, but equally needed knowledge. And not to mention, it won't cost you your sanity or money, which I feel are both very important because it has an annual subscription that's less than 10 bucks a month. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning 
all on your own. If you're like me and you're interested in editing, do what I wish I could have did and check out Jordy from Cinecon's tutorial on Premiere Pro editing. And if you want to try to make people laugh while explaining very scary social topics that might ruin your comment section, check out Humor Writing, Write Funny for the Internet by Mike Latcher. So if you want to check all that out, click my link in the description and get two months free of Skillshare, which is an amazing deal. Like learn for two months free. That's already better than college. So. so you want to learn how to make videos, learn to write, learn how to create, and just make sure to click that link in the description and head on over and join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. What's up y'all? It's your boy Kurt Ritchie here, tired boy, and I'm dying. <laughs> Yo, if you like that video, be sure to check out the last one. Is it okay to watch this, which specifically is anime, in public I'll wait, I'll wait. uh go check that out it's a really fun video it's not so clear it's a series i've been wanting to bring back on the channel for a while and it's pretty cool i think it turned out okay y'all really seem to like it so yeah but i'm out in new york right now i just got a frugal ass uh, there's a youtunes right there and, and let me know what you guys think what are your thoughts on soulmates in in the comment section because this is like a really like really dynamic question so you guys i really want to know i really want to know because everyone has a different opinion on the whole thing. all right that's it i'm out Peace. I'm confused. Adios.